Hello, Fire Signs. Welcome to your mid-month reading for October 2019. We're going to take a look into the cards and see what's in store for you for the last two weeks of October. This is for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So if you have Aries, Leo, or Sag in any of those placements, and this reading could be for you. Remember, it is general. It won't apply to all. You know what to do with that statement. Uh, this is going to be um, just a reading to look in to see if we can find any guidance some sort of um, confirmations, messages that you may need going into the last two weeks of October. If you need your own personal reading, all that information is in the description below, coaching, all that great stuff. And also uh, the Alchemy program. If you guys are interested, I'm going to be going into the live call this Sunday. We're going to be talking about the full moon in Aries uh, this coming Sunday, how that's affecting us, as well as going into the new moon in Scorpio at the end of the month and how that's all playing out in our lives. If you guys are interested, um, you can join Alchemy, all that description, all that information is in the description below. Let's get into your reading and find out what's in store for my fire signs for the last two weeks of October. Okay, we're going to go into sacred geometry, find out um, what frequency is governing over um, fire signs for the last two weeks of October. What frequency? Mm. We have the crown chakra. So the frequency of the crown chakra, the violet flower of life, supports our spiritual connections to the universe and our ability to transmute negative energy into light. So this is about opening up through your, um, your crown to receive information receive guidance, um, also allowing your, um, allowing yourself to tap into the, um, the higher awareness, the, uh, the higher self is, is allowed to come through when this card shows up. I'm just seeing that my camera's a little off center. Okay, there we go. All right, let's go into um, the fairy oracle and find out what supporting cards we have here around this crown chakra, around communication with the higher self, um, entities, energies, beings, of um, realms beyond 3D. Ooh, and of course, oh, I love that this card just came up for you guys, Fire Signs. You have the Dark Lady. The Dark Lady is very similar to the High Priestess in the Tarot deck. So, of course, she is all about the mysteries. Um, she is also about the underworld, but also like the underworld within you, um, bringing a lot of the the deeper mysteries, the subconscious parts of you up to the surface. Uh, this is beautiful that she's come up um, beside Crown Chakra. We'll go into more detail with her in a bit. Uh, let's pull some more cards. We have two. Oh, interesting. Oh, wow. Okay, so there is a lot. This is this whole reading right now is coming up as higher communication. Okay a lot of communication. So you have Arl the Parrot, which is all about communication. And you have Talm the Poet, which is again also about communication, but um, communication through a, a little bit more of an artistic expression, possibly through writing, singing, um, songwriting, uh, these sorts of things. Uh, so let's we're going to group it like this. And we're going to go into this. So let's go to the Dark Lady first. See if there's any specific messages. Actually, it just opened me right up to town, the poet. So why don't we go there? Um, clear sight, poetry, erotic energy, laughter, not getting into serious mischief. Hmm. Clear sight's really sticking out to me. Um... Let's see here. Okay, so his presence in the in the reading is suggesting that there is a very youthful spirit here. Um, very youthful spirit 
Sorry, I'm like, I hate when things are off center. And I really don't like that this is all posing as off center right now. But I don't know how it's going to show up on the camera. Okay. Um, let's see here. So, uh, let's see. It's time to do exciting things and to tackle projects you've been wanting to do for which you perhaps have not had the time or energy. Um, it may be the time to write about them, but you probably need to do them first. Interesting. Interesting these come up with a communication card. Is there something that you need to communicate with someone first before you go into this expression of writing? Um, He's very curious. Uh, okay, so Talon the Poet is here to for you to understand what's because really sticking out to me in this um this this book right now is more of the energy of understanding the beauty in everything. So understanding the beauty and the joy and the sorrow of your um, experiences, understanding the ease and the hardships of things. So it's kind of like understanding the duality of things, getting really clear about that, but it comes up with the communication card with it. So I'm getting the sense that there's something, there's the, that it's about understanding the beauty and something about your ability to communicate um, understanding the duality within the communication process, um, of the higher aspects. So the higher awareness coming in, let's go into, um, the dark lady, unconscious power, wisdom, rituals, um, mysteries and secrets. Um, you reach the dark lady through grief and through deep surrender, through ecstasy or through profound ritual. So like I said, like she's kind of the, she rules like the underworld. And so like the deeper layers of the subconscious. So what's subconsciously um, there that could be pulling at you that may be lending towards some of your grief or sorrow, but also what could be there that's like hidden ecstasy? Um, this is a time of uh, preparation for rebirth, of restoration and regeneration. Um, it's about surrendering to the source so that you can become back whole with one. It's about finding the unity and the ecstasy within the, um, the oneness of, of, of everything. What is hidden is getting ready to be revealed. Celebrity, celebrate this passage through the unknown, rich and fertile hidden realm. Okay, okay. So what's kind of going on here at Fire Signs for you is that um, there's some sort of exploration happening for you in the last two weeks of October that's kind of pulling at you to go deep within you to explore some of the hidden mysteries of yourself. Um, uh, explore some of the secrets that you may not want to be revealed so much. And it's to bring in this higher awareness with you when you go deep into those, those realms, because I'm getting the sense that, okay, with the communication card coming up and telling the poet, because this card talks about the dark lady talks about secrets being revealed. And this card is all about clear sight. I feel like there are parts of you. Yes. Okay. There are parts of you fire signs that are kind of hidden and mysterious to even you that are very important right now in a communication process that needs to happen. I believe with someone else. Um, and you want to get really clear on that before you communicate with them. And there's this, um, there's this calling right now, fire signs for you to take the higher perspective for you to take that higher awareness of everything to assist you through some sort of communication process that you're about to go through. I don't know if you're in relationship with someone or if this has to deal with a family member, or maybe it's a business thing. I don't know, but there's something coming up here regarding you needing to communicate something very clearly, but it's also going to require you to to go very deep within yourself to pull up some of the mysteries, but really get clear about what those they are. So they're no longer mysteries. So there's a little bit of healing going on here. There's a little bit of um, pulling some of the things up that feel fragmented and bring them back into wholeness. If that makes sense. Uh, let's go um, into the tarot and find out 
Okay, Knight of Wands. Okay, so there's um, there the Knight of Wands comes in with a lot of passion, a lot of um, like excitement, uh, brings a lot of excitement into the party. Um, something's coming in here that is exciting you, that is bringing a lot of. Um, that, that could be passionate. There's there's some sort of energy coming in here. I don't know if this is someone else bringing in the passion or if this is just something that's kind of igniting like around an event or around a project or around a relationship. I don't know. There's some sort of energy here that's really passionate and exciting. Um, and it's going to come in really fast, too. You know, the Knight of Wands is very um, quick energy. Doesn't really think about things. Acts before thinking. So impulsive, very impulsive. Yeah, there's like this impulsivity. Okay, okay. So mm, you may be feeling fire signs, very impulsive. Okay, this is why when I looked at the card first, I was like, why am I getting a no on this? So why am I getting a no? So I'm getting a sense that you fire signs, uh, be, there's something that has to be communicated here. And I'm getting a sense that you're feeling very impulsive to do that. But the message that's really coming through is no, 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 do not be impulsive. Okay, like, even though this card is not um, in reverse, like I'm just getting that sense. Fire signs, there's something here where you don't want to be impulsive. You really want to take your time and explore why. You may be, you may be triggered by something, okay, by someone or something, and it's gonna and it's sparking the need for a conversation. Okay. And what the guidance is coming through for you guys in the last two weeks of October is take the time to go in and explore your own part in it, your own wounds, your own dark side, so that when you come to have this conversation, you're going to have very keen, like hawk vision on what's actually going on. Okay, what other messages? Okay, we have... We have the six of coins, but it came out in reverse. <clears throat> so this is talking about um, there being an imbalance in receiving and giving, but I'm feeling the receiving more so, and I'm getting the receiving on information or receiving, like there's an imbalance on receiving what's really going on. Mm. Okay. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. We have, um, we have the five of swords in reverse and the seven of swords in reverse. Again, communication cards in reverse. The swords is all mental energy. Um, with the five of swords in the work. Okay. With these two cards coming out together, you've got this feeling of wanting to walk away from the battle and at the same time, the Seven of Swords is kind of that energy of returning to the scene of the crime. They're opposing energies. Are you guys feeling really push and pull? Like, are you really feeling like, um, feeling like you're conflicted here? A lot of confliction over what to do. Do you, dis, do you just disengage or do you return? Okay, and this is why all of this information is coming through. Um, fire signs for you to gain clarity through exploring the, um, the more mysterious side of you, the darker sides of you. Now, when I say the darker sides, it doesn't mean bad sides, but more like the hidden sides. What are the, what are the parts of you that you haven't fully explored yet? That you know need to be brought to the surface to have this higher awareness, okay, come in to observe. Um, I'm also getting a sense like for some of you, for some of you, you may have feel like you've been deceived in the past and you just kind of want to walk away. Like you're just not sure if you want to like, 
if you want to even just go through this, like, uh, you're, I, okay, I really get the sense that you're dealing with someone else here. Um, and that there's this impulsive need to just like say your piece, but then there's this other part of you that wants to retreat a little bit and think it through. Um, and I think there's a part of you that knows like perhaps you're not receiving all of the information that you need to be receiving at this time. Like you're not getting the full picture and, um, perhaps emotions might be clouding the picture right now, or the past might be clouding what's actually happening in the present, like allowing the past to project itself into the now. And it may not have anything to do with now. I don't know. Uh, okay. Let's find out what other messages do you have here for fire signs for the last two weeks of October? Whoa. Okay. Okay. The world. Wow, there's so many similar cards coming out, like in the readings. It's ridiculous. Uh, okay, this is about. Um, okay, when we talk about the world, the world has all the elements in it. Okay, you've got your water, fire, air, and earth all here. Mm, but it's also talking about cycles, like some something big coming to a close here. Also, the world represents, like, you know, being victorious, like, um, so when I'm looking at this card, I'm also getting these messages of this idea that, um, fire signs, you're, you're questioning your own GPS system of how to navigate the situation, and that you're trying to get a, okay, this idea of getting a perspective of like pulling back and looking at the whole world, like, you know, like this idea of like this higher perspective, okay, the crown chakra is like, because you're having trouble navigating, it's almost like, I feel like you're really in it. And you need to pull yourself out of it. And I think that's why this crown chakra energy is coming up. The higher self, higher self really wants to pull you out to be like an, um, uh, a detached observer. Okay. Into the situation. There's something about this situation that you need to observe more detached from like emotionally and also to take a higher perspective. There's something you're missing and I don't know what it is. Um, that's kind of more of the energy that I'm getting with that world card coming up. Like there's this um, questioning of your own GPS system of how to navigate this because there's a part of you that feels like you're missing part of the equation. Like you can't solve it because you don't have all the tool, not the, all the tools, sorry, you don't have all of the information. Okay, what other messages do we have here? Oh my gosh, yes. Okay, so we have the moon and we have the seven of coins. So again, the moon talks about, this is very much the dark lady energy. Um, the moon is when it can talk about like being confused, okay? And confused about what you're supposed to be investing in right now. What is it that you are supposed to be? Where are you investing your time? Where are you investing your energy? Um, is this really worth it to grow? And I feel like there's a conversation that you need to have with someone, whether this is about business or a relationship, but it's, it's something that you're, there's just too much confusing energy here for you and you want to get clarity on it. Um, you want to illuminate the dark. So what does the moon do? It illuminates the dark. It, it brings light into the shadows. It brings um, clarity into the confusion. So, but you're still kind of in this darker phase and that's why you're being asked right now through this reading, for those of you that this is really resonating for, that it's time to go inward, okay? And really um, go into that deeper part of you because you're at a place right now where you have to figure out like, are you going to continue further investing in this or are you going to like deuces, like peace out? Cause I'm getting the sense that there's a part of you that does want to give up and walk away, but then there's a part of you that does kind of want to return. Like you want, you're not sure yet. And 
I, I feel like you can't make this decision until you have all of the information. And that's what's like really pushing through on this reading. Like it's really coming through very, very strongly. Um, okay, what other messages do we have here for fire signs? There's just a lot of circles that I'm seeing here, and moons, and um, I don't know, like, okay, what other messages do we have here for fire signs for the last two weeks of October? What do they need to know about the situation? Okay. Wow. Okay. We have the Strength card in reverse and the Ace of Swords in reverse. Mm. Some of you are just not feeling very confident and very secure around some sort of some sort of idea or truth. You're, there's a level of, um, I want to say deception some here, somewhere that's going on here. And that's why I feel like you're being asked to take a higher perspective that you don't have all of the information here. And you're just not feeling there's something you're really not feeling confident about something, some sort of information. A, a, maybe it's a past conversation you had with someone. The communication wasn't good. It wasn't sitting with you right. And yeah, you're just not feeling very strongly about it. It's like there's, you have very little confidence in what this is. And I think you're like looking for guidance on what to do here. Like this is, I mean, wow. Okay, do we have any more messages here? For fire signs, sun, moon, rising, and Venus, Aries, Leo, Sag. I mean, this whole reading is just one confirmation of the other over the confirmation of the other. Like, it's just, so you've got the hermit. Okay, so this is just this really strong need for you to go inward. Um, but again, I, the message is don't react, don't be impulsive, really go inward and really assess what's going on here. You, There's some sort of information that you need to get and the only way you're going to get it, the only place you're going to get it is through your higher understanding and awareness. And it's going to require you going deep into your own shadows, like facing some of the hidden, hidden parts of you. Um, there's a reason why this is all coming too is so like a lot of times uh, things in our external environment or in our relationships are being mirrored back to us so that we are forced to go inward and do some of that deep digging and um, rummaging through the dirt that we don't always want to do. We don't always want to get our, our hands dirty and, and, and we don't, cause we don't know what we're going to pull up. We don't know what we're going to find. And, and sometimes it can be a little bit overwhelming, but and getting the sense, fire signs, there's a conversation that needs to be had here with someone and you don't want to be impulsive on it. You really want to do your due diligence, go inward, really ask for higher awareness on what's actually being here. I get a sense that you may get some information through the higher realms here that's going to help you get clarity on what's actually going on here. Um, if there is some deception here involved, I really feel like your answer is going to come through this higher awareness, through the higher self perhaps through your guidance team. Um, you may just get like a vision or it may just like sparks, like an aha kind of like, oh, that's it. Like something like that's going to come through. And whatever's been going on up until this point, you haven't been receiving everything that you need to receive in order to make this choice or make this decision. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's that, that's. The, that's the reading for you, um, 
fire signs. There's just a, a really need to, do, you need to go inward. You need to go inward here to get your answers. Um, don't go outside of yourself. Uh, I think this is a really big call for you to go in. So don't let anything outside of you influence you one way or the other. Just really kind of go within and get the answers that you need to gain clarity on what it is that's kind of coming through here for you so that you know how to make the best decision for you going forward. Because right now it seems like you're questioning, uh, do I keep investing myself into um, this project, into this relationship, into this endeavor, um, you know, like, or this direction that I've decided to go, like, whatever this is pertaining to, like, you're, there's a big question here of you needing to find clarity on are you going to invest any further okay so fire science that's my reading for you for the last two weeks of october if you need any more information please um description below if you need a reading coaching any of that stuff and uh my love to you all okay Mwah.